For tuning in today um, so my channel if you're watching for the first time is all about um, me growing some plants here on the east coast of Newfoundland and Labrador on the island of Newfoundland um, and so we have we're in growing zone 5b and so we it's a cooler climate um, lots of precipitation lots of dampness, not as much sun as many places in Canada. And so this is me sharing my experiences, um, contributing to the plant world. I mainly see myself, my intention for this channel is to literally just be a contributor to the plant community. I'm certainly no expert, no guru, but um, you know, I really believe in contributing. We can all learn from each other. And so that's my intention for this channel. Um, yeah, and so I focus on indoor plants. I also focus on outdoor gardening. So my, my indoor gardening experience, my journey with that began about eight years ago when I lived in the western part of Canada. I lived in southern Alberta and the climate was very different than it was than it is here. I've certainly learned a lot from that since then. So without further ado, here is what this video today is all about. So here is my April plant haul. I will say my April 21, 2021 plant haul um, at this moment. <laughs> I, when I set all this up, I realized, oh yeah, I have more plants coming. Um, so yes, I'm getting some plants uh, from Montreal and they will be coming hopefully this week. So I will do an updated <laughs> version of April plant haul. So my April plant haul is a little large <laughs> so far. Um, and this is not even the half of it. Um, I have outdoor plants as well, but you know, that's for a different video. Anyway, how about we just get into this? Okay. So as you guys know, I like, and I'm a huge fan of shopping local. So before I go forward in this, this video, in this plant haul, I just realized that I didn't have my cuppa, right? So <laughs> for anybody just watching for the first time, uh, myself and my viewers, my subscribers, uh, people just who watch the video, but I think mostly my subscribers, this makes sense, they drink cups of tea, coffee, drinks, whatever they have. We do this together. <laughs> so um, this is your invitation to put the video on pause for a quick second. And if you don't have a drink, go get one. Um, because one of the other purposes of my video my videos, my channel, is to provide a space where, you know, we can connect um, a little bit more personally in a time of COVID um, and chat about plants and connect about plants and, you know, bounce ideas off each other, um, contribute to the plant community. We're all sort of in, in a limited and restricted type of lifestyle right now. And so I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we could all just do this periodically, sit down, have a cup of tea, coffee, whatever you want to have, and, you know, just connect about plants and share information and so on and so forth, you know? So yeah, go get yourself a cuppa. Um, I love it. It's honestly probably one of my most favorite things about uh, doing this channel so far is this part. I know I love to share about plants and stuff, um, but truly, um, you know, I'm, as you, as you guys know, my profession, I'm a counselor, I'm a mental health counselor, and I like to connect. So, you know, this is 
the bees knees for me. And so, yeah, anyway, I'll stop gladding, go get a cuppa, go get a mug, go get some tea, whatever. So I'm drinking today another herbal tea. Um, as one of my, my subscribers said, you know, I have to have my coffee. And I, I laugh, I said, well, this, her, my herbal teas that I'm drinking in these videos are after my coffee because I have to have my coffee in the morning. Uh, I drink, my, actually the coffee that I drink is a locally brewed coffee called Dark Star, uh, a locally made coffee here in, in Carboneer, Newfoundland. And so, of course, like when I share any of my products that I use, uh, personal or for plants, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just want everybody to know that. Um, I just share the, the goodness of my heart to people uh, about people's small businesses here in Newfoundland, Labrador, and beyond. Because, like, like I say in my videos, I I support local as much as I can. So anyway. Going back to my tea, um, this is passion flower. So it's a beautiful herbal tea, um, and maybe I can insert some information at some point about the medicinal properties of herb of passion flower. So, but yeah, that's my tea today. It's a little too hot. I can't drink it yet. So, but I'll be sipping throughout this video. Here we go. Um, so all of these plants here. I got over the weekend, uh, Saturday actually, so just a few days ago. Some of these are bought in stores like, you know, nurseries, local nurseries, and some of these are actually uh, slips, trades that I trade with people that I know from the houseplant groups that, I, that I'm in. I love to, to do trades. Um, and also I have, I won, um, one of these plants, two of these plants in, a, in an auction. Um, so we have a group called, um, you know, Newfoundland Labrador Houseplant Auctions, something, something like that. Um, and yeah, so I won a couple of plants in an auction <laughs> and a couple of these are gifts, um, gifts that I'm going to give some people, um, and gifts that were given to me. Um, I actually was, was, given um a plethora of gifts saturday very unexpected so uh, i just want to share my appreciation for um the plants that were given to me as well but i want to draw attention to you know there's lots of ways to get your plants you can shop local of course um and you can do things like you know bidding on plants you can also you know connect with people in your local area through your local facebook groups and swap trade buy like that slips of your plants so here we go all right so the first plant that i'm going to show you is this sweet little african violet it is to die for it's so cute i absolutely love african violets um, so I got this one at Green Thumb online houseplant sales. Um, so Green, Green Thumb is a local nursery. Um, it's, a, it's, it's kind of new. It's been around since last year. Um, they have a couple of stands in our area, like plant stands. So there's one in Holyrood at a pharmacy there. Um, that's a town close to here. And there's another one at Coleman Supermarket in St. John's and so yeah they uh, have cute little plants I love them and I've, I've bought a few over the past year and so here's one of them that I bought this African violet and then here is um, a crown of thorns that I bought I will insert a picture of my other crown of thorns that I have Uh, it's different from this one. Um, my other one has pink flowers and this one has white. So this is actually one of the gifts that I bought. This is uh, gonna go to my aunt. Um, actually, yeah, so she was looking for a crown of thorns. And so I I got, I finally found her one. And it was really cute. And you know, white, I don't come across too often. I mostly see red. So I thought, or pink. So I thought that that'd be really cute. So that's those two. Now this one, 
I got at Holland Nurseries. Just, I wanna, yeah, just look at this. Like, I've been after this plant now and it's just never been the right time when I've seen it before to get it. Um, I had other plants instead and I regret it because this is such a sweet plant. Um, this is a tiger paw begonia. Um, I'm not amazing with begonia care, um, but I'm hoping to uh, that my past experiences with begonias will help me with this one. So it's really sweet. I got this one. Oh, hey, oh my God, before I move forward. So I got this one at Holland Nursery in St. John's and I shop there quite a bit. I have since I've moved back to Newfoundland in 2018. A lot of my plants here came from them. And um, yeah, it's just the sweetest. So I, I got this tiger paw begonia there. I also got this little calathea, this mini kind of calathea. I don't know the name of this calathea. Um, I think a few people in our area got this calathea and we were all sort of wondering what it was. Um, I thought it was a dotty, but if anybody can um, let me know what, what their guesses are or if they actually know, um, I would, you know, be appreciative of that. So yeah, but it's such a sweet little calathea. I couldn't pass it up. So cute. This pot I got, but you know, I said I shop local as much as I can, but I ran into this pot at Walmart locally. I think it was like $3.98. There were a couple of pots that I got for $3.98. Beautiful blue. I really am partial to blue pots because I keep blue pots in my bathrooms. So I got that one. Now the other, the other blue pot that I got is this one. This is not a new plant. You've seen this in a couple of videos if you've watched my videos. This is my Hoya Shepardii, but I got a nice little blue plant uh, pot for it. And yeah, also from Walmart, three ninety eight. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. Um, Cause you know, I'm just like anybody else. Sometimes it's good to have a cheap pot because you spend a lot on plants. So also, Oh, before I move forward. So I also got this one, this plant. This is an African violet as well. I got this one in Holland um, and it's just a beautiful blue. I got this one for a family member um, who is, you know, on a journey of getting well, that's all I'll say. So what way to better cheer her up than give her a beautiful house plant um, as a gift. And I got the pot also at Walmart. So, next is this beautiful, I don't know if we can get this. Oh, look, it would be funny if I did this. I'm not actually eating this flower. <laughs> so one of my dear friends um, sold this on an auction. I won. This has been a wish list plant for me for a while, so I'm really stoked to have it. Um, I'm really, really happy that I got it for my dear friend in the city. So this is a strawberry begonia, and as you can see, um, there are these little babies coming off. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna put this one in a nice hanger and just let the babies be, and they're apparently easily propagated. So I'm going to have a good time with this. <laughs> Super sweet. I just love this plant. So I got two begonias. Hopefully I can handle that. So next, of course, I went to Gaze. Can't go to the city without going to Gaze. So this, my friends, <laughs> is a golden ivy, otherwise known as Algerian ivy. I am partial to ivy. Um, yeah, I just love them. My house handles them well. Uh, you, as you can see, I have my gigantic ivy in the background there. I got that one also at Green Thumb, by the way, that big ivy that I have in the background. This one is from Gaze, like I said. And just check out the beautiful foliage. Like, look at that beautiful color. 
incredible. So I have yet to place in really any of these plants. Um, a couple of them I have, but um, this one I am still deciding where I'm going to put it. It's going to need medium to bright indirect light, consistent moisture. So I have to think about that. Um, yeah, so, but I will update where I put these plants. So isn't this beautiful? I absolutely love it. I'm going to leave this plant down here for a moment because I will get into the other items that I got at Gaze. So they're fantastic for selling um, plant accessories and outdoor plant accessories as well as seeds. So I got this trellis. I got it for one of my plants that I have staked. I, it was the first plant I ever staked. I didn't do a very good job. I didn't know what I was doing and I think it needs a little more. So I'm just going to cut here and go get that plant and try to get it in the frame because it's pretty big. So I'll be right back. So as you can see, this plant is quite big. <laughs> I will insert a picture of what it actually looks like displayed, but this is a syngonium. I got the syngonium at Holland Nurseries last year yeah no 2019 i believe so it's it's a couple years old i think it needs to be watered soon anyway so if you can see in the back there there's three bamboo sticks um so it's just not doing the job so i'm just going to stick that trellis in the back of this plant soon and watch it grow hopefully it will it will be you know do the plant more justice than what i've done and so I'm bringing over this aloe. So here's my aloe and the reason why I have this here, it's huge by the way, it's grown so well. I have this in an east facing window. <laughs> I did burn this aloe when I first got it. I had it in my southwest facing window and I didn't know aloes can burn. I did burn it. Got really sad, but it's it's actually totally recovered and done so well since then. It's also been knocked over once by my by my two year old. So anyway, I brought this over here. I'll just lay it down here. I wonder if I can drink a little tea. Ooh, I'm in the jungle. Do you know where you are? You're in the jungle, baby. Mm. Perfection. Beautiful tea. Okay. Random. So I'm getting into it now. Can't you tell? I'm getting excited. So here is a pot. You can't see me. So here, here's the pot. I don't know what size it is. I can't remember. I think it's like a nine, 10 inch pot for this aloe. I have to up pot it because it is so root bound. They do like to be root bound, but it gets to the point sometimes with aloe that they tip and topple and I do not want that plant to topple because it will break up again and I don't want that. So I'm just going to move this aloe because I can't really do much with it right there and I hope I don't fall. <laughs> that would be a little embarrassing. Okay, so <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> what a good mess. So also my gaze, continuing on with gaze purchases. I got this rose food from Super Green. I really like this brand. Um, I use it for my general 2020 fertilizer for indoor plants. I just recently used it in my outdoor uh, flower bed, which I will talk about in another video. But yes, so I'm going to tackle my row. I have two rose bushes. I'm going to tackle them soon. They need to be fertilized at this time of the year. Um, so I'm going to do that soon. Also, from Super Green, I got this aluminum sulfate. Um, so it's actual, it's actually a soil acidifier uh, for hydrangeas. So lots of times, you know, people are looking for the blue, the blue um, clusters of flowers that you see on hydrangeas, like you see here. And I do have in a hydrangea bush. It for some reason has defied the odds <laughs> of living here in our property because our property I thought would have 
a lot of acidic soil. So that would turn your hydrangea flowers blue. Uh, pink is alkaline, is a sign of alkaline soil. So, but our, our soil, our land is, is so full of evergreen trees. So, you know, I just figured that my hydrangea would be blue. Not so. Now, to be fair, the flower bed that the hydrangea bush is in is on a slope away from the trees. So maybe that area right there is alkaline. Maybe there was a previous garden there because my property is over 104 years old. So I wouldn't doubt it if there were some kind of flower beds there before. Um, yeah, and, I, and I, I'll show you these beds throughout the, the summer, the spring. And so anyway, I bought this because I, you know, I like to leave nature be and not tamper and, you know, not will it to be at my satisfaction. Um, I like to keep things natural, but I really like blue hydrangeas. <laughs> So it did bloom for me. I have an endless summer, I think it's called, uh, hydrangea bush, um, the mop head sort of blooms, and it's bloomed continuously. So, and that's designed for, to, to do that. So anyway, I would like to see those continuous blue blooms. So I got this, I'm gonna try it out. Okay, and so this is fertilizer. It's a, it's called Rocket brand. I really am excited to use this. I picked it up at Gaze um, because I'm excited to use it because, you know, I'll just read a little bit of the label here and maybe you'll see why. A time-honored tradition in Newfoundland using kelp to grow healthy food and strengthen plants has been updated to deliver a liquid concentrate to all who love gardening. So, um, this, this guy who, who made this, Ryan Yager, uh, he started to use his own fertilizer, liquid concentrated kelp with fish extra extracts. He started using this in 2012, this is on the label, out in Fairywind, which is a community along the Irish Loop. Um, so this is locally made and that makes me excited and I want to support local as much as possible so I support a local in a local store. That's a lot of local because Newfoundlanders are awesome and pretty smart people. And so I just wanna really contribute, you know, word of the day um, to our economy here as much as I can. The money gotta go somewhere, why not put it into our community? So anyway, I'm excited to use this. This is the, the kelp is harvested locally um, in the Irish Loop. So yeah, it's, so the Irish Loop is Southeast of the island. Southeast Avalon, Avalon Peninsula, which is the same peninsula I live on. Anyway, so other than that, so I did have a haul at Gaze, as you can tell. Ooh, Medina. I got these, I got four of these uh, for some seed planting, which I will get into a little bit more. So um, that's not all I got from Gaze. I also got a few packets of seeds. Um, I'm going to go overseas in a different video. Uh, they're packed away. I don't even know now which ones they are because I have a bunch of other seeds in, in, um, in the, my Ziploc bags that I'll show you. So, but I just got a few packets of seeds and they are seeds to plant after the last frost. So it's going to be a little while. So that was my gaze haul. Big haul. Ooh, I think I got a sip of my passion tea. Mm. I said passion very passionately. I said passion tea. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, Nancy, hold up. It's, it's, you know, only Monday. Anyway, so, um, okay, why don't I just kind of get into my trades? Yes. Okay, so, I won't say any names, or maybe I will. I don't know. I'll try not to. Because, you know, I guess my line of work, I think about confidentiality and nobody gave me consent to say the names in these videos. So there. So that's what I, that's the way my mind works. Just being respectful. So this is a jungle cactus that a new planty pal of mine traded with me in St. John's. It is super cool. I've never seen it. There is a scientific name. 
I'll try to insert it here because he did tell me the name in the chat, so but I forgot it. And so that's one that I got from him. Now, um, he also traded with me. <laughs> this is a bit of a project, but I'm excited to do it. Um, it's, it's such a unique uh, shaped goldfish plant. Oh yeah, right, and it's been healthy. It's in this vase, you know, um, which is, you know, I'm gonna have to probably break open to get this plant out because I do want to take it out of here. Um, but it's healthy enough. Look at the blooms. There's two. That's only one. I, I don't know where the other one is. I think it's by my underneath my hand. But anyway, I'm so stoked to have this beautiful goldfish plant. And, ooh, I hope I didn't. I hope I didn't frighten my children that <laughs> were asleep. Okay. Whoa, calm down, it's only Monday. Yes, it is only passion tea, okay? There's nothing else in this mug, I promise you. Like I said in another video, I actually don't drink alcohol. Interesting, hey? I did once before. No, I'm not a recovering addict. But, um, you know, I uh, I don't drink alcohol anymore. Yeah, it doesn't um, go well. Doesn't doesn't make me feel very good. So, physically even. So, anyway. Moving on to the trades. So, oh, okay. So then I also won, this is not a trade, sorry, actually. This is a plant, a Hoya Bella. There's like gigantic like slips here. This woman is so kind. So she's, she, I won these on an auction. I think there's three big ones. Um, we had a laugh because she's like, oh, my asshole cats <laughs> they tipped over your, your, your Bellas and I had to cut you new. What? So there's bad news. I did wake up my child. <laughs> my, uh, oldest Oliver was asleep and anyway, well, it was close to the time that he would wake up. So it's actually not that bad. I don't want him sleeping too late in the day. So back to the video. So just a heads up, he's in the playroom um, watching his favorite show and until I do this video. And so if I, I might have to cut a couple of times. So back to this. <laughs> so yes, this these are the Bella um, cuttings that I got, Hoya Bella cuttings that I won at an auction. And so the lady was hilarious. We had a good laugh. Um, first time I met her and she said yeah the original cuttings that I got her cats knocked them over she had choice words for her cats which I have about mine as well sometimes <laughs> cats you know they have a mind of their own they're the sweetest um, most affectionate animals um, but they have minds of their own own so um, yeah she knocked them over and so these are these were new ones that she cut me and just check out the beautiful blooms. They're so pretty. And so I already have a Hoya Bella, but there was a reason why I wanted to buy these. It's because I will show you here now. Um, this is why I bought the Hoya Bella, because I have a Hoya Bella and I want to fill out my pot. So that, those slips will totally fill up my pot. I might actually have to like slip the slips um, because they're quite long, but you know, I don't know. I'll see when I, when I get to planting them. So that's, you know, where those Hoya Bella are going to go. And so this is one of the, the really nice things that happened to me that day. So um, this lady scored this highly variegated pothos and so just check out the oh check out that variegation it is super white and creamy and yeah it it it's a beautiful plant and so um she got that she had a couple and she hadn't split up and so she just gave me one <laughs> it was very um, surprised and appreciative. Like, that was really nice of her. So, um, 
Yeah, thank you if you're watching. <laughs> so nice of you, and I will take good care of this plant. And so, you know, back to um, more of the, the surprises that I got. So the same lady who sold me, my dear friend who sold me this um, begonia, she, where every time I, I go to her, her place, she um, <laughs> offers me slips. <laughs> so she's the sweetest. So she, she slipped me this plant. Um, I'm sorry, my friend, I'm gonna have to, to put the, num the name of this plant up on the screen. But anyway, just check it out. It's super purple on the back. It reminds me of Swedish ivy. Anyway, it's just gorgeous. And the purple is a lot like the purple passion, the same kind of purple. So it's really pretty. So she, she gave me that slip. I don't have that plant. I've never had it before. And she also gave me, and I'll just, you know, take a couple of seconds here to get them in my hands. So she gave me a bunch of this sedum. You can see they're really cute. Oh, they're so cute. And I don't have this plant either. So it's really cute. I can't wait to get that potted up and growing. So that was really nice. And so I will be right back because I have to bring over the last, you know, present that I got <laughs> that day. So let's do one second. So this, this is a Bijonville. I, I hope I said that right. It sounds French. Um, it, the word is spelt, uh, it, you know, in French to me. I speak French. And je parle français, uh, pas parfait, mais un petit peu. And um, this, this plant here is, you know, it was at Gay's, uh, Bujanville, I think it's called. Anyway, um, <laughs> when um, the manager was helping me bring out my um, plants in my, my hall, because I had a bit of a hall. Um, I don't mind saying his name is, is Jackson, by the way. So, um, Jackson, the plant is still alive. Anyway, he said to me, he came back out and he said, hey, do you want to challenge plant? And I said, yeah, you know, because I, I always like a challenge plant, to be honest. And so this plant was out by the door. It wasn't in the store. It was ready to be thrown, I believe. And so he said, here, have this. So I was like, okay, yeah, I noticed that, you know, most of the flowers are gone, most of the leaves are gone, but, you know, the plant is very much alive. It is green all over the stems, and petioles even are still gray green. So anyway, um, I looked up this plant, and I was speaking to a couple of friends that day who, um, you know, reassured me that my plant is probably fine, it just didn't get enough sun because this requires high sun, full sun all day long, direct sun, which I do have on my southwest wall. So this is where it will be and I place it there. I, I allow, I take the plant and I move it along the wall the whole day to follow the sun. And when it gets hotter out, I'm gonna put it out by, by my entryway and just blast it on that same wall, but just outside where it will get hot sun all day long. So I'm stoked about this plant. So, and I'm super appreciative because this is something I would never expect anybody to do. So I'm really, really happy. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, thanks. You're the best. <laughs> and yeah, so that was my, this is my April haul, April 2021 plant haul part one, because like I told you, I do have more plants coming in. And so just to end off this video, I'm going to take another sip of my cuppa. Mm -hmm. Just want to give you a heads up. So I got some news. Um, I can't share it right now, but keep yourself tuned in to this channel. I got a life update, um, but it's plant related to, and another project to up, update you on. It's very exciting times here um, at my house and in my life. Um, but then I just realized that I do have one more slip <laughs> as I was looking. Sorry. So I won this slip on an auction as well and I picked it up. 
And this is a philodendron by Penifolium that I got from a friend of mine that I've been getting some plants from. Oh, hi, Oliver. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my darling. Okay, I will be right in. Okay, did you want to come here and be in the video? How about no? Do you want to be in the video? How about no? How about no? Okay. Okay. Yeah, mommy put on falling cards. Mommy almost done. They all is my tablets. Yeah, did you did you eat them? Yeah. Awesome. Oh my my tummy. Oh, they went in your tummy. Awesome. Okay, can you wait for mommy and give mommy one minute? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right in, okay? Thank you, oh. my thank you, my baby. Oh that Peppa's birthday? <laughs> it's Peppa's birthday. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. And so here's the philodendron. And I'm super happy to get this because this is a bit of a rare plant around here. I was astonished. I was, I was, I won this. And I was actually the only person to bid. And I think that people slept on this because this is a beautiful plant. I've never seen it really around here. Um, I really want to get into the other kinds of philodendrons that have this shape, like the Florida ghost or the beauty. And so this is the one that I can afford right now and find. And so, um, yeah, I got that plant. And yeah, other than that, again, stay tuned because I've got lots of news coming up. And I really appreciate everybody's interactions with me on the page, all your comments. I've got some requests from people to do videos, which I'm going to honor at some point. And um, yeah, I love being in constant communication with you. I love having you cuppas. And um, it's a lot of fun. So thank you for watching, liking my videos. Thanks for your subscriptions. Um, I encourage you, if you've been watching my videos, why not just subscribe? Um, you'll catch them. And yeah, so with that, I guess I'm going to wind down this video and wish you all a beautiful week. And hopefully I'll be seeing you around again for Fern Friday. And maybe have some news. I think I will. I'll have some news soon. All right. Catch you later. Peace.